Hi, welcome everyone. Uh, we're uh, going to have now a talk uh, by Luc uh, Pogbe uh, from Cloud ONG about how we can use, or how generally one can use uh, OSM data for a climate adaption uh, project. And I'll give the floor to Luc. Okay, thank you for giving me the floor. Uh, I'm Luc from OSM Benin, and since three years, I went to France for studies, and now I'm working for K2NJ as a GIS officer. I'm a French speaker, so sorry if I miss uh, some words or something like that. So here is the table of uh, contents. So I will present the project actors. I will present uh, the working method, and we, I will share with you the first results. In terms of, uh, in terms of actors, we have a CIF and Avocia project. So CIF is Secou Islamic France, which is an international French NGO that supports and bring development aid in, uh, in France and around the, the world. So Avocia project is a global project that brings support for rural development and community resilience for vulnerable populations in Morombe district. So Morombe is located in the southwest of uh, Madagascar. So the goal of the, the project is to strengthen the capacity of uh, vulnerable households to cover their food needs. So the project is uh, co-financed by French development agency, AFD. So here is the location of uh, Morombe. So Cat ONG is a French ONG that is created in 2006 and is specialized in uh, information management and GIS and mobile data collection tools. So Cat ONG de is dedicated to make data available for humanitarian area and for the development and social action projects. So like that, Cat ONG seeks to improve the quality of, of data in general and also supports all the, the humanitarian sector activities by producing documentation, building capacity, and other things. So here is the domain of expertise for K2NG. So K2NG work in geographic information system area, mobile data collection, and transversal approach of information management and also for data processing. So k work with several partners and mainly with uh, Doctor Without Border, Médecins Sans Frontières, UNICEF and other partners. So on this map, you can see the location of uh, k projects. So you can see mainly the k has a lot of projects in Central Africa and West Africa, also in other Asian uh, uh, countries. So Katwenge also carry out uh, uh, training activities in Europe, in other, other countries. So the Katwenge approach is based on, on um, human aspects. K2NG seeks to, to place people at the center of all the, all the projects. So they also, uh, we also think, um, take in con into consideration the local communities. So all the, the projects we, we carry out, we involve local communities, local peoples. So since 2015, uh, k is working with uh, Missing Mass Project, which is the International Collaborative and Solidarity Mapping Project. The goal of the, this project is to put all the countries on the, the map. And k also work now in uh, new, new activities, like the support for citizen engagement uh, of local communities. And since 2018, k is working also for a sensitive cartography. The goal is to to capture information 
by about uh, perception by using people perception what they are, they are feeling what they they think about the the local area in terms of uh, participatory mapping method katonji offer technical and methodological support based on innovative sustainable sustainable and other solutions so there's this involves four steps. The first one is the mapping, so the mapping the project area, and the second one is to complete the, the map, like by using, for example, by adding, for example, thematic information on the, 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 the map. Also, the next step is to produce in, uh, cartographic support, like uh, dynamic or static maps and also to perpetuate the resources and tools development. So I will briefly present the Madagascar Western community. So the community was created in 2015, and since 2019, they set up an uh, association, and they, they have about 20 active members before the, the COVID. COVID. In terms of uh, working method, the first step is to make an assessment. And like that, we work uh, remotely with the, the team project to define the, the data we are going to collect in terms uh, term of the, the, the project. And we also checked the pre-existing capacity of the, the team. We noted that they have a limited capacity in mapping and digital, but they have strong capacity in participatory and community-based approaches. And also we check the data they have, and we noted that they have a few data available. So for the mapping, the, the, the project area mapping, we orga organized uh, some marathons with the online Katonji volunteers. Notice that Katonji have a lot of uh, volunteers that contribute to, to add data in the in the, the the maps. So in at all we created um, 31 mapathons and uh, we added data in the, the, the map on the map. So several projects have been created on Morombe District in the whole tasking manager. That allow us to create some about forty thousand buildings and uh, forty uh, four thousand uh, more than four thousand kilometers of uh, of roads in the OSN database. So you can see, for example, on this picture, some buildings that have uh, been added on the, the map. In terms of training session, we carry out two training sessions. The first one for the students at the University of Chile. So we, the students coming from a different field of study, like a geography, a agricultural, and animal science also. And the second one, the second session of training uh, involved the, the staff, the chief staff, Seku Islamic uh, staff mostly technician and they work they work in the food security project and risk also so here is the training program we at the first point we introduce them the the short introduction into to gis and also we share with them some participatory mapping projects also we carry out uh, assessment and needs uh, about the, the available uh, resources. For the introduction of uh, in USM, here is the, the training program. We help them to know how to, to use the uh, USM to create a data on the on OSM database. And also we we teach them how to to control the to check the data quality and also how to add a new, a new data. 
and also we teach them how to to extract the data from the OSM database to make uh, maybe a basic map or some analysis. And for the training about uh, the data collection, we use the OSM on for for the field data collection. So we teach them how to to add data in the OSM database by using OSM on. So we teach them how to 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 use OSM tagging tag, tagging and other steps. Uh, also, we we teach them how to add data in the data the to OSM by using, for example, by collecting points or taking notes or other 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 tips. And here is a pic from the the feed. So, in terms of the data collection, we the the, the, for the data collection, we was carried about with a SIF, uh, Secu Islamic team with uh, with students that uh, whom we train uh, for the the first uh, training session, and we carried also workshop in the six commune of the the area of uh, of interest, and we noted that the mission have been uh, impacted by the the cyclone. And for the the, college, the data collection, we printed a a list of items that they have to to collect on the on the field. Here is some pics about the the preparation of the data collection. You can see also the the team. In terms of summary, uh, some points have been added on the the OSM. A database, and we share also uh, a good experience with uh, with them. And also, we noted that the collection was not always uniform and complete because of the constraints related to distance and the the season. Noted that some road are some area was difficult to access uh, because the because of the the rain and other things. We also faced some technical problems, but uh, that was solved through good uh, communication. In terms of uh, results, here you can see the, the map from the area b b before the, the project. And now we can, you can see a, a map from the, the same area that are more completed and you can see a, a lot of elements, uh, items on the, the map. Here is the, the first map, first map that they project, and the, on the map you can see the the point of different activities, like uh, yes, the 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 these points have been collected from the from the field and. Add also on the the OSM database. Same here, you can see all the all the maps, and you can see also the an example of our area, and by Kili, which is a a small town. In terms of statistics, you can also see some some stat statistics on the the area. Before you can see, for example, we have a few kilometers of uh, road, but after the, the trainings and the, the field activity, you can see you have more more data on the, the on this uh, this area. Thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I don't see any questions online currently, so yeah, we have first question here. Um, how did you um, use the results of your mapping to track climate change? I didn't get you, please. Can somebody say that? Um, so I think you, your project was about managing um, climate change. Yes. 
could you talk a little bit about how you did that? Yes, please. Uh, the the goal of the project is to, like I said, Abotia is a, a big large project that is led by um, L'Agence Française de Développement, French a, a Development Agency. So we work on the mapping part. So they need, for example, to have a data, a geographical data on the, the area. So the part I present is the small part of the project is the first mission. So the first mission is to create a geographic data on the area, and the next step will be to carry, you know, to carry out some analysis and have uh, other result, results. So here is the first step of the the project, just to create the geographical data on the the project area. Thank you. Any other? Hello, thank you for your presentation. Uh, I would like to ask how did you, or can you explain us how you attract or motivate the participants to to, to map this area? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, as I said uh, at the, the beginning, we worked with the, the OSM local community. So Madagascar has uh, have a OSM community and they used to do mapping activities and like Mapathon. And uh, when we talked with them about the, the project, they, was, um, they were very interesting on, on this project and we worked to, to, together as they used to, to map some areas in the, 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 the country. So it, it was not so difficult to, to convince them to work on the, the project. And also, Katwenge have a large public of uh, uh, of the Nivol, yes, and they um, they also work with us online to add data on the the, the, the project area. So yes. Any, any other questions? Okay, so I think uh, well, well, I, I think the. Earlier on, there was a talk by a um, hard developer about uh, uh, trying to uh, use mobile mapping apps. Uh, and she realized that um, part of the difficulties was um, the basic technical infrastructure, like uh, having people having smartphones and smartphones that can download the data. Uh, did you ha do you have any kind of insights from working from with the local community about such kind of unexpected uh, uh, challenges and limitations? Uh, in terms of uh, data collection, we use the uh, OSM on, OSM on for, for the mapping. And we, as OSM on not need to, to be connected on internet before, uh, before um, to use OSM on, you don't have necessary to be connected on internet to, to collect the data, so we use it. We train people on on this tool to to collect the data, and that uh, we also on the on the field we add directly some data in OSM database and some data that don't match with the OSM uh, OSM presets. We we didn't add them to the to the OSM database. So we will use them for other or other needs. So yeah. Thank you. More question over there. Hi. Yeah. Um, so normal hot mapathons mostly concentrate on buildings and roads, correct? So I want to was interested if your mapathons are uh, interested in other data because they target um, climate change action. So do you collect also land use information, or is there any other information that you're more interested in apart from roads and buildings? I didn't understand. So in a hot mapathon, we mostly collect buildings and roads. Yes. Are you collecting more than that or different things? 
um, because you're tackling climate change. Sorry, one more, one more. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> je, je vais essayer en français. Okay, uh, okay. Oui, donc normalement vous connectez, connectez les, les bâtiments et les rues. Oui. Mais est-ce que vous collectez autre chose parce que vous vous êtes intéressé à, à, au change du climat Oui. Ou bien vous aussi collectez rues et, et bâtiments uh, Yes, oui. En français ou Non, en anglais. Okay. Uh, yes, we collect uh, other type of data. For example, we collect the uh, the, the water points, for example. And also, we collected um, some thematics, uh, thematic data, uh, like uh, the la zone culturelle. The I don't know how to say in English. The the zone où les gens font des des cultures. Yes, yes. On a collecté ces ces données aussi. I was not personally involved in the, the project. Some colleagues worked on working on this project before I I I joined the, the team. So I'm not maybe the uh, aware of all the, the maybe they they did on the, the field, but it is the, the first step there will be a, a, the a second uh, mission for for yeah for the project. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I think uh, we'll stop here. So thank you for this uh, interesting talk. Uh, and if you have further questions, you can catch up, look somewhere sometime. Thank you.